What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to week nine of the NBA. This week, we are taking on Drew, aka Little Bigness, coach of the Detroit Soul Gallios. If you haven't watched the team builder yet, definitely check it out. Came out, I believe, two days ago at this point, probably, uh, because I've been having trouble recording lately. Finally able to get this out for you, so... Uh, we, you, if you don't know the matchup, here it is. It's Mammoth Swine, Hydreigons, Omega Scizor, Slurpuff, which we had considered to be our win condition, Miss Magius, and Thunderous T, uh, versus, no, not Thunderous T, Thunderous I, what am I saying? Uh, versus Cobalion, uh, Heracross, uh, it's regular Heracross, Megalodios, Shaman, Entei, and Electros. We're gonna play this for you in normal mode so I can better do commentary over it. Uh, but let's see our lead matchup. So I decided to lead with Mammoth Swine here. Uh, thinking that, alright, well, I have a pretty good lead matchup against the majority of his team. I'm Choppleberry. He ends up being Special Cobalion with Flash Cannon and knocks me down to 2%. I'm gonna pause it right here. So, Drew knows that I can knock him out on the following turn. He knows that I can Ice Shard whatever else comes in. Uh, and gain momentum off of me knocking out the Cobalion. So, in my head, he's attacking this turn. Without a doubt, he is just attacking me, and it'll be over and done with. But... Drew is smarter than that, as you will see here, and as I switch out into Miss Magius to take a potential special move or a fighting hit, he goes for Stealth Rocks, and now my Mammoth Swine is officially dead, because I did not bring Hazard Removal. We are Scarfed uh, Miss Magius, so we just go for the Shadow Ball there, he brings in his Electros, I'm trying to scout what kind of Electros this is, so I know that my Hydreigon can pretty much wall most of its moves, I switch out into Mammoth Swine because it's useless, I'm going to see the knockoff, and I go into uh, Hydreigon thinking I can wall this. I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse. does absolutely nothing because we're not invested. We're physically defensive. He goes for Dragon Pulse, which I was not expecting at all. And I'm like, I can't stay in here. I need this thing for Entei later in the game. I'm still healthy enough to roost off damage and live its hit. So I go into Scizor to take the Dragon Pulse. I know he has Flamethrower on this thing. I'm not staying in. I'm just going to U-turn out to get off some chip damage on this. And I go into something that I, I believe can take the Flamethrower relatively well, which is Miss Magius, and follow it up uh, by going for a Shadow Ball. I'm just going to pause it right here. On the following turn, we're going to go for a Shadow Ball. He's already revealed knockoff. I did something very stupid here. I made a, a head calc. This is something that you should never do. I knew that this was my only answer to his Megalodios if ever that thing got out of, out of, out of control. I needed to keep this. But instead of actually running the calc, seeing how much damage my Hydreigon did, and my Scizor to compare to see if he's physically or specially defensive, and then gauge the damage to see if I would be able to knock him out with a Shadow Ball, I made a head calc and said, you know what, it's taking him out, it's fine, we're gonna knock him out. Pitiful damage from the Shadow Ball, leaving him at 9%, we lose our Miss Magius. Game is going downhill at this point, guys. I'm, I'm out of control, I have no control over this game. I go into our Slurp Buff, and here I go for a Calm Mind as he goes for a Volt Switch to get on out of there. Now that Volt Switch actually did a lot of damage at plus one special defense. So I got kind of scared here. He goes into Shaman, fires off a Seed Flare, and actually misses as I get off a Wish. And here I'm going to go for another Calm Mind, uh, as yet again, on the following turn, I do another Head Calc. <laughs> and I'm thinking, all right, so if at plus one he did 35, uh, or 47 rather, at plus 2 he should do 35 and he shouldn't be able to uh, 2 hit KO me. But Calc was completely wrong, 37 is more than enough to 2 hit KO me. I go for Wish instead of Calm Mind, which is a very stupid play. I should have just Flamethrower to get as much damage off on this thing as possible. He goes for Seed Flare, misses my Hydreigon, which is great for us. We pass off the Wish into this thing, I wanted to keep my Slurpuff around. He's gonna go for Dazzling Gleam and knock us straight out. I didn't even consider Dazzling Gleam. I was off this game, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. At this point, I'm just like, okay, he has HP Fire, he's just gonna knock me out. But no, he goes for Leech Seed, which is nice. We U-turn out, we leave him at 36, he has a little bit of bulk, obviously. We're not too uh, physically invested either, though. Just gonna go into uh, Thunderous here, as now he has to let something go down. It's gonna be the Shaman, which has already put in a ton of work on my team, weakened my Slurp Buff, and got rid of my Hydreigon, which is absolutely huge for him. He's now gonna go into Heracross, which I figure is Scarfed, so I'm just gonna fire off a Thunder Wave. He misses a Rock Slide, which, I yes and no, I kind of um, enjoyed, but at the same time, like, I'm gonna get off this Psychic right here. He's gonna go for another Rock Slide, but now I live it. So, what I wanted to do was go into Slurpuff and be able to set up on this thing and hope for a couple of full Paras because we're max physical defense. And if I could have done that, I might have been able to pull this game back. 
but instead that happened. He's gonna go into his uh, Megalodios right here. I'm gonna T-Wave this thing. I believe it gets full parrot on this turn. It does. Uh, so we're just we just keep getting a little bit of luck back in our favor. Uh, we're gonna go for Thunderbolt, weaken this thing, put it in range potentially of the U-turn. He's gonna go for Psy Shock. He's gonna knock us out. Uh, I'm gonna be forced into my Scizor at this point, and I'm just gonna go for the uh, U-turn. I believe on this turn he's gonna go out into um, into Electros. Actually, I choose to go for Roost here, <laughs> and yet again, it's not a head calic this time. I promise. It's probably a very very bad misplay considering the condition that i was in i could have brought this back to a 2-0 in his favor so only gone down 2-0 but instead i decide you know what let's swords dance let's see if we can live his flamethrower because it is a roll and it's half in his favor half in mine it's a 50 50 roll and let's see if we can knock this thing out with a bullet punch and maybe somehow he clicks sacred fire and misses every single one with Entei, and we pull this back and we win it. So I'm still trying to win rather than play for differential, when all Drew has to do is click Flare Blitz with his Entei afterwards, and he wins. So this was really, really dumb of me. I'm just going to Swords Dance, and as you will see, he wins the roll on this one. He's going to get the Flamethrower. He's going to knock us out. And instead of this being a 2-0, as I could have just Bullet Punched this thing, it's going to be a 3-0. Uh, and he's gonna take the victory out over us. I'm gonna go for a wish desperation wish not gonna happen He's just excuse me. He's just gonna go for a uh, volt switch right there and just knock us out So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, excuse me for the little grossness there at the end <laughs> uh, But uh, yeah, that's it as I said in the update video guys if you haven't watched that yet I'm very surprised if you haven't because most of my subscribers have already uh, which is very nice Thank you so much to everybody for watching that video, but uh, if you haven't watched already, I did mention that the NBA is sort of falling off. Uh, Drew is kind of just here as like um, a last minute replacement coach. Uh, I don't think he's too interested in it either. But um, we're, we're currently 4-4. Four and four. We missed our week 8 match, of course, because 4-4 four and four doesn't make sense with 9 weeks gone by. But uh, we can still pull it back for, for the end of the season. We got a couple of big challenges coming up, uh, such as um, Joey and Dom in the last couple of weeks. So it's going to be difficult, but uh, if nobody ends up continuing having their matches, I might just focus on the GPC from now on instead of uh, continuing with the NBA. We might just terminate the season early and just end it there. Um, I'm, I can't say that I, I'm not happy with the team that I drafted. I'm going to per be perfectly honest with you. I think I drafted okay. Uh, as a very scary team. I didn't execute it to my fullest potential. Uh, I would say that one game, I wouldn't say got I got cheated out of it, but it could have gone way more in my favor. And uh, Johnny outplayed me completely. Um, who else beat us? Eric. Uh, Eric played very well, uh, and I was too scared of a scarfed Mentz and lost that game. Uh, and then, of course, there was our game against... Uh, we already covered Jar. That was the game that I could have pulled back. I can't remember what my other loss... No, that's it. It's Johnny, Jar, and Eric, and now Drew. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, again, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more League matches. If you're excited for the GPC, subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> and like this video. Leave me a comment. Tell me you're excited. Leave me a tweet. Twitter's in the description down below. So is Facebook. Go and check those pages out. That's it for me. I'll see you later. Ciao.